Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's me Saba Said and I'm here with a new topic of screw gauge. It is the fourth lecture of chapter number 1 of class 9 physics of Punjab textbook board which is used by FBISC. Screw gauge. Basically a screw gauge is an instrument that is used to measure small lens with accuracy greater than a Werner caliper it is also called a micrometer screw gauge here in this picture you can see the different components of a screw gauge which are annual phase spindle phase spindle lock nut sleeve thimble ratchet and frame purpose what is the purpose of screw gauge The screw gauge is an instrument used for measuring exactly the diameter of a thin wire or the width of a sheet of metal. Here in this picture you can see the screw gauge is measuring the diameter of the wire. Parts A simple screw gauge consists of a U-shaped metal frame with a metal stud at its one end. A hollow cylinder or sleeve has a millimeter scale over it along a line called index line parallel to its axis. The hollow cylinder acts as a nut. It is fixed at the end of U-shaped frame opposite to the stud. A thimble has a threaded spindle inside it. As the thimble completes one rotation the spindle moves 1 mm along the index line it is because the distance between consecutive threads on the spindle is 1 mm this distance is called the pitch of the screw on the spindle here you can see two scales one is main scale or it is it could also be called as index line the other one is circular scale when we move ratchet in clockwise direction then the circular scale move on the main scale after fixing the object which is to be measured in stud and spindle we will fix it using ratchet in clockwise direction then we calculate the reading on the main scale and circular scale to calculate the diameter of the object the thimble has 100 dwiens around its one end it is a circular scale of the screw gauge as thimble completes one rotation 100 dwiens pass the index line and the thimble moves 1 mm along the main scale thus each dwien of the circular scale crossing the index line moving moves the thimble through 1 by 100 mm which is equal to 0.01 mm on the main scale so the least count on a screw gauge can also be found as given below least count is equal to the pitch of the screw gauge divided by the number of dwiens on the circular scale the pitch as i have discussed the pitch is equal to 1 mm and the number of dwiens on circular scale are 100 So dividing 1 by 100 after calculating it we got 0.01 mm which is equal to 0.001 cm which is the least count of the screw gauge zero error first of all we have to find the zero error either it is positive zero error negative zero error or no zero error So to find the zero error close the gap between the spindle and the stud of the screw gauge by rotating the ratchet in the clockwise direction if the zero of the circular scale coincides with the index line then the zero error will be zero here in this picture you can see the zero of the index line is coinciding with the zero on the circular scale so there is no zero error or we can say zero error is zero when what is positive zero error zero error will be positive if zero of the circular scale is behind the index line in this case multiply the number of dwiens of the circular scale that has not crossed the index line with the least count of the screw gauge to find the zero error 
here in this picture you can see the zero of the index line is on the 18th line of the circular scale or we can see which is positive zero error or zero error is zero point plus 0.18 mm as 18th division on circular scale is before the index line for negative zero error zero error will be negative if zero of the circular scale has crossed the index line in this case multiply the number of divisions of the circular scale that has crossed the index line with the least count of the screw gauge to find the negative zero error here in this picture you can see the zero on the index line is on the 95th line of the circular scale and zero is five lines after the uh, index line so zero error will be negative hence the zero error is minus 0.05 as five divisions of circular scale has crossed the index line measurement on screw gauge how do we measure the diameter of an object using screw gauge we have five basic steps number 1 is check for zero error as i have told you how to check the zero error for positive and negative and no zero error you have to check first of all zero error by closing the stud and spindle of the screw gauge then place the object between anvil and spindle Read the main scale reading at the edge of the thimble. In this case, the reading on the main scale is 4.5 mm. Here in first picture, you can see the main scale reading or the index line reading is 4.5 mm. Next, read the thimble scale mark that coincides with the datum line of the main scale. Here in this case, it is 0.22 mm. Here you can see the circle on the circular scale 22nd line coincide with that index line so multiply 22 with its pitch which is equal to 0.22 mm or its least count which is equal to 0.22 mm the actual measurement is after adding this is then sum of the main scale reading and the thimble reading is 4.5 plus 0.22 which is equal to 4.72 mm which is our required measurement here in this picture or example you can see we can measure the diameter of a sheet after closing the spindle and stud you can see the main scale or index line reading is 4 mm and after moving ratchet in clockwise direction the circular scale reading is 0.14 as you can see the 14th line of circular scale coincides with the index line index line of main scale so when we multiply 14 with the least count of the screw gauge which is equal to 0.14 so after adding both main scale and circular scale reading we get the diameter of the sheet which is equal to 4.0 plus 0.14 and which is equal to 4.14 mm which is diameter of the sheet that's all for today's lecture hope so you have understood about screw gauge thanks a lot thanks for watching